Hello, and thank you for clicking on the link to learn about how easy it is to change an EIN, a client EIN, uh, and do it online if you're using Enhanced Payroll for Accountants. So again, I have already added this file uh, to my Enhanced Payroll for Accountants subscription, right? And I showed a video about that earlier, you guys can watch. And just to show you, I got Enhanced Payroll for Accountants, and here's the EIN. Now what you can do, let's say the, the client though says they're changing their EIN. So you go to the company information window and I'm just going to put a 1 in uh, instead of the 0. So the EIN has changed and therefore it almost is, it, you know, you're going to need a new service key. However, how do you, this is about how to, how to do this without having to call in support to get that service key. Right? Save you guys some time and do it online. So when I click OK, I'm going to get a pop-up. It says you can automatically add this file to your existing payroll subscription because my enhanced payroll for accountants sees, wait a minute, the EIN's changed. I want to add it. Let me go ahead and add it. So I'm going to go ahead and click Add File. And it's almost like I'm adding the EIN online as if I just got the client file that has no payroll. Uh, in this case, they already had the payroll. I've already added it to my service, but I wanted to change the EIN and just do it online because they're changing their EIN. I'm sure this is not doesn't happen all the time, rare, but still, you can do it online. You check off the subscription, click Next. And then next again, it recognizes a new EIN, and it'll process a request. And now, of course, it says, you know, thanks, welcome to into QuickBooks Payroll, and I can return to QuickBooks. And now I still have Enhanced Payroll for Accountants active, you know, on my computer, because uh, I'm the accountant. I can't activate this on theirs, right? Enhanced Payroll for Accountant License Agreement is all about the work you're going to do on your computer for them. And now I've changed the EIN and done it online without having to call into support to get another service key because the EIN for my client has changed. Fair enough? Well, thanks for listening. Hope this helps. Have a great day.